If you have ever heard people talking about lift, it was probably related to how powerful its macros are. My goal is to spend a few videos talking about them. No previous experience with Lisp is required, but knowing another language may be useful. Before we can start writing macros, we need to understand how to run a Lisp program and an introduction to the language. There are many flavors of Lisp. For this series, we will use common Lisp, in particular the SDCL implementation. First of all, we need Lisp installed. If you are on Linux, you can install SVCL using the package manager. For example, I am on Fedora, so I can run sudo dnf install svcl. If you are on Ubuntu, you can use apt. Uh, the same is true for macOS, you can install svcl using uh, brew. We can verify that the installation was successful by running svcl. This command should show us the um, Lisp interpreter. You may notice that if you write something, for example 42, and then I try to go back using the arrow, some weird character appears. My suggestion is to install the rlwrap command. So delete what I, I delete what I have written. I run quit to exit the interpreter, then I can install RL wrap. From now on I can run the interpreter using RL wrap and then SBCL. This time you can see that I can move with the arrows. Now let's see how to install uh, SVCL on Windows. If you are on Windows, you can download the installer from the official site. Going on the right, download and choosing the right architecture. Once it is downloaded, you have just to run the installer and follow the setup. As with Linux and Mac, we can verify that the installation was successful by running SBCL on the command line. To start writing our Lisp program, we also need an editor. For Lisp, there are quite powerful development environments like Emacs, but to get started, they are not necessary. For the moment, we just need a text editor, and it's fine. A common choice nowadays is using Visual Studio Code. Let's start it in the current directory. You may want to install the common Lisp extension. such that when we create a new file the main advantage of the extension is that it colors the parentheses that we will see is a really useful feature for the moment just write the extraction to print something on the screen we will come back later on what this means and save it let's open a new terminal and when we want to run a list program we can write sbcl minus minus script and then the name of the script other times we don't want to run directly a script but we want to run some command interactively in this case we can just run sbcl and as you can see uh, 
Lisp interpreter gets opened. Now I just want to show you what happens when you write something wrong on the command line and how to return to the usual Lisp shell. For example, I write uh, uh, this command, which does not exist, and I press enter. As you can see, the shell has changed. In particular, we can see which is the error. The variable is unbound. I have written the name of a variable that I've never declared. Uh, for the moment, we can just press uh, abort until we return to a star, which means that we are again on the usual Lisp uh, shell in which we can enter expression. For the moment, we have finished. Next time, we will explore the shell more in detail.